Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 70 in my Sudoku problem series. This is an anti-night killer by Zomodo, and thank you Zomodo for submitting one of these. Um, it's always good to get new setters into the mix. So the way this one works is um, cells that are a knight's move apart in chess, so two in one direction and one in the other, um, cannot be the same digit. Um, and you also have the fact that in killer cages, uh, digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. The goal in this one, of course, is to place all of the digits only in cells marked with an X. Everything else does not matter. Um, it's only Xs that you need to fill. Um, and yeah, there's a link below to where you you can try this problem for yourself. Um, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video and then um, I will come back so you can unpause the video and I will explain how this one works. Okay, so this one, I, I again, I really like this series. Um, I really like the, the problems that people are sending me. So um, a 24 cage can only be made up in one way in a killer cage. So this is a 789. So the question is, how do we narrow down which one of these it is? Now, a lot of people, I think, are going to look at this one and go, well, we've only got restrictions on ones and nine, so that has to be the nine. But the thing is, you've got to prove why. So, And the reason why is these two nines mean that in this box, nine is in one of these two cells. This cell sees this nine, so nine is in one of these two, and these knock nine out of both of these, because this cell sees that one by normal Sudoku and that one by knight's move, so that can't be a nine. And this does the same, that one by normal Sudoku, that one by knight's move, so that can't be a nine, so this is a nine. Now, people may just turn around and go, oh, that has to be the nine because of the, the, um, the, the constraint that's given by the problem. But you need to be able to explain why. If you don't have the proof, then you might be able to get the well done, but you need to understand it. This one, similarly, I think a lot of people are just going to say, well, that has to be the one because that's where the constraint is. But can you see why it has to be the one? Now, similarly, the one here by Sudoku puts one up here in one of these three cells. Now, a 10 cage has to be one, two, three, four. That's the only way to make up a 10 cage in four cells. Now, this one sees that cell, so that is not the one. This one also sees that cell, so that is not the one. So now we've got one in one of these two, but this cell here is seen by both of those by knight's move, so that is not the one. This cell here is seen by that cell by Sudoku and that cell by Knight's move. So that is not the one. And that is why that is the one. Now, as I said, people are possibly just going to go, well, this has to be the nine and this has to be the one because they're the constrained digits. But you still need to understand why. If you don't understand the logic and how you could prove it, then what you're doing is you're making an assumption. And if you were to do that while you were solving a puzzle, then you would potentially make mistakes. So the whole point of this problem series is to teach you the Sudoku logic. And I think this does it very well if you don't just go, well, it's the ones and the nines that are constrained. If you had more information in this grid, if there were also three sevens and eights and stuff all over the place, you may not be able to just go, well, this is the nine and this is the one. So try and understand. Yeah, try and understand the logic. I really do like this one as a knight's move um, introduction. I think it's very, very cool as long as people sort of work through and try and figure out why. Thank you, Zomoto. Um, I, I really do appreciate this one. I um, hope everyone is enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.